Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Gitesku and Dona. This game was played in the Netherlands in 1967. White started with d4, knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, d5, knight to c3, and black played c5. Tarash defense. e3, knight to c6, a3, and black captured the pawn on d4. e takes on d4. Bishop to e7, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5, bishop to d3, knight to f6, white castle kingside and black castle kingside too. Bishop to g5, b6, with the idea to fianchetto, the light square bishop to b7. Queen to e2, developing the queen and connecting rooks. Bishop to b7, rook from a to d1. Question is, can black capture the pawn on d4? What do you think? It's not a good idea. The pawn on d4 is a taboo. Let's have a look. If knight takes on d4, then knight takes knight, queen takes on d4, but then check discovered attack on the queen. So in the game Black played g6, but this is creating the weaknesses around Black King. We have bishop to c4, knight to d5. Now, not bishop takes bishop, but bishop to h6, attacking the rook. Knight takes on c3, pawn takes knight, rook to e8. It is white to move, what would you do? Well, the move that white played required very careful calculation because white queen is on the same file where black rook is. Okay, so we have d5. e takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, and black played queen to c7. If, for example, bishop to f8, then white has very good answer. Can you see it? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? This is the move. Bishop takes on f7 check. Discover the attack on the queen. King takes bishop, but now not taking the queen immediately. In between move. And only after rook to e6, rook takes queen. That is why black played queen to c7. And we have reached the most critical position of the game. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and try to find the killer move that white played. Ready? Bishop takes on f7 check. This is the start of the king hunt. King takes bishop. Queen to c4 and black king can't go back. King to f6. Knight to g5 threatening knight takes on h7 check. Bishop to f8, and now black queen is defending the pawn on h7. It is white to move. What would you do? In the game, white captured the pawn on h7 with knight. Did I say that black queen is defending h7? She is defending. But <laughs> she is not helping much. Queen to f4, check. King to e6. Rook from f to e1, check, knight to e5, rook takes knight, check, mate. What do you think of this king hunt? And let's go back to this critical position of the game. This is the position when queen to c7 was played. Have you seen this bishop sacrifice? on f7. If you have, congratulations. Let us know. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.